Volvo prides itself on its safety record and the Swedish company says the XC60 is its safest car ever. The big news is the City Safety Crash Avoidance System which is fitted as a standard to all XC60s. It uses a radar sensor here at the top of the windscreen to detect objects on the road ahead then will slam on the brakes if it thinks you're about to hit them. We'll be testing the system later but first let's take a look around the car. The XC60 fits into Volvo's range below the larger 70 XC90. Prices start at around 25,000 up to 36,000 and its rivals include the BMW X3 and Audi Q5. As you can see, the boxy Volvo look of old has gone in favour of this sleek modern design. The XC60's got the trademark Volvo shoulder line which flows down into this tapering nose which helps disguise the bulk of the car. Even the badge has been redesigned. Our test car is fitted with a 2.4 litre D5 diesel engine. It produces 205 brake horsepower and returns a claimed 40.9 miles per gallon. There's also a less powerful 185 brake horsepower version of the same engine, plus a 3 litre six cylinder petrol engine. You'll really need deep pockets to run the petrol car though. You'll get less than 24 miles per gallon and you'll fork out over £400 a year in road tax. No wonder Volvo reckons that only 3% of customers will opt for this model. Like all 4x4s, the XC60 has a high driving position that offers a commanding view of the road. All round visibility is very impressive and the large wing mirrors make manoeuvring easy. The seats are fully adjustable so it's easy to get comfortable and you can fit three adults side by side in the back. The dashboard is a clean uncluttered design with this unique floating centre console that has nothing behind it and it's finished in aluminium look trim on most models or wood on the top spec SE Lux cars. Strangely the sat nav can only be operated with this remote control which means your kids could sneakily reset your destination for Toys R Us from the back seat. The rear seats fold flat to provide up to 1,455 litres of load space, which is almost as much as in Volvo's V70 estate car. Unfortunately, the quality of the plastics in here won't cause any sleepless nights at BMW, but it does feel pretty well screwed together. Let's just hope it doesn't suffer from the same quality problems as the larger XC90. On the road, the Volvo doesn't feel as sporty as its looks suggest. There's very little feel through the steering wheel and the six-speed auto box is very slow to react. The D5 diesel engine gets the job done, but it doesn't give you the effortless shove of the best German turbo diesels. So it's no sports car, but the Volvo does feel safe and secure at all times. Under normal conditions, 95% of power goes to the front wheels, which helps improve fuel economy. But if things get slippery, traction can be diverted to the rear wheels in a split second. Other safety systems on the car include side impact bars in the doors, traction control, a blind spot warning system and trailer stability control, which helps when you're towing. This brings us to the city safety system. Volvo says that 75% of accidents happen at speeds up to 20 miles per hour. And city safety works at speeds up to 20 miles an hour with this laser sensor at the top of the windscreen which detects people, objects or other cars in front and if you're about to crash into them. Rather than use an unsuspecting member of the witch staff, we've got a pile of empty cardboard boxes which we're going to drive the car at to see if city safety really works. So let's give it a go. As you can see, city safety brought us swiftly to a halt. And here's what happens when we tried the same test with the system switched off. The Volvo XC60 isn't the most dynamic small 4x4 on the market, nor is it the cheapest. Add a few expensive options and you can push the price of even a basic XC60 over £30,000, while a fully loaded model will cost more than £40,000. Fuel costs and road tax will also be expensive, but on the plus side, a diesel XC60 should retain over half of its value after three years and 36,000 miles. If you're looking for stylish, comfortable and safe family transport, the XC60 certainly fits the bill. It makes the ageing XC90 look pointless unless you've got more than three kids, and it's certainly more appealing than Volvo's V70 estate car. 
4x4s may have fallen out of fashion in recent times, but we reckon you'll see plenty of XC60s on suburban driveways very soon.